afternoon, y'all. My name is China, and I'm coming to you from my channel, That Girl China, with a Wednesday afternoon Dollar Tree haul. Um, this haul is going to be centered around gift giving. Once again, I'm certainly not trying to push past um, Thanksgiving, um, but Dollar Tree tends, and a lot of stores too, not just Dollar Tree, they tend to put out their holiday stuff ahead of that season. So um, the only difference is that when Dollar Tree puts its stuff out, they do not tend to restock. So if you don't buy it when you see it, the likeliness is that you're not going to be able to get your hands on it. So unfortunately, I have to buy it immediately and I have to haul it immediately. But in a way, it helps those out who like to plan ahead, um, stay ahead of the game. You don't want to do all that last minute shopping. I was moving some little... Um, little stuffed animals around now there's of course a little fluff from the um elf no it was an elf gnome beards um and i also wanted to take a moment to say hello to one of my subscribers who's been with me from the beginning they're always offering encouragement and wonderful comments um so hi to you sally um as we spoke about this i just wanted to say hi to you and for all of you who are um you know, taking time out of your day to watch my videos and have followed me um, or subscribed to my channel. Or if you're not subscribed, I hope you'll consider subscribing. I upload content about three times a week. And I love to share uh, fun and creative ideas with you and my love of the Dollar Tree. All right, so without further ado, there's a lot of stuff here. We got a lot of ground to cover and I'm going to jump right in. All right, so there's no order again. Okay, I found these and I thought of my brother. Um, these are Curly Candy Canes and it is in the brand Spongebob. And as you can see, they've got these really unique candy canes that are swirled around curly and it says they're fruit punch and flavor. And you've got Spongebob here on the front and then you've got my favorite right next to um, Squidward is uh, Patrick Star. But it comes with three. I thought it was adorable, and I think this would make for a great stocking stuffer. And again, it's a name brand. It's Nickelodeon, and we have the character SpongeBob. So if you know someone who's a fan of SpongeBob, you know what? you got to visit the Dollar Tree. they got so many things to buy and to add to gifts. Okay, on this one is a Palmer. So the name brand is Palmer, making candy fun, peppermint bark bar, white candy peppermint crunch, and it's 4.5 ounces. So it's this giant um, candy bar, I guess, and it's a peppermint bark bar. What I liked about it is the red and white striping. I am putting together like a candy cane red and white gift basket, which I will be showing to you guys um, that I'll be giving to someone. Um, but this is just to give you guys ideas. You don't have to break the bank for Christmas. There's a very inexpensive way using the Dollar Tree to present wonderful gifts with huge impact. Um, and you don't have to spend a lot of money, which is what I have in the background. I will be showing those to you guys here shortly. So again, this peppermint bark bar. Um, I think also you can break this up and add it to a car shooter. Car shooter oh, okay, I can't pronounce that word today. But a tray, you know, with your different foods, if you're having like a party. Or also if you want to put together a coffee or hot cocoa tea bar. Um, this would make a great addition to one of those. And I think I hit the camera, so it may be shaking. Another item which I have previously hauled, but I'm going to show it to you again because I picked up some more, are these peppermint um, candy cane spoons. Again, if you're putting together a, um, what is it, a cocoa bar, a tea bar, a coffee bar, these are a must. I'm also uh, told, and I've seen in other videos, that Palmer, the brand Palmer, has chocolate spoons that you can stir in and make a beautiful hot cocoa or add it to coffee. Um, this little tin I picked up, I don't know if it's something they carry year round, but you've got your little handle here. It's a little metal tin and, um, it says that it's not intended for food use. What I would do in this scenario is perhaps, um, if you want to use it to decorate, um, or to put a Christmas tree in there, one of those faux Christmas trees, um, that would be a good idea. If you are going to use it for food, um, maybe line it with some kind of a plastic and maybe you can put like, um, uh, chocolate chips or um, marshmallows and then of course you get these uh, fake silverware plasticware spoons they come in a pack of 12 
and you can use it to set up your little coffee bar. Um, or even maybe those little uh, sugar squares. So there's all kind of, or sugar cubes rather, there's all kind of items you can use this for, but decorating and setting up a really cute hot cocoa bar I think would be a great idea and a use for these. Um, like, like I said, it says it's not intended for food use, but I think if you line it with some kind of plastic, you should be okay. Um, but again, super cute. And you've got these, they come in a pack of 12. They're sold where the silverware is at. And it's a pack of knives, forks, and spoons combos. So a set of four um, is what that would be. All right, another item uh, that I picked up, of course, candy canes. Um, these are great, again, for decor. Now these you could probably put in that little bucket because they're individually wrapped. And because they're wrapped, it shouldn't interfere with your ability to put them in here. Um, but I think these are super cute, again, for a hot cocoa bar, for decorating crafts, Christmas trees. Um, you definitely want to hit up the Dollar Tree, and they have a lot of varieties of different types of candy canes and flavors. I picked up the classic red and white stripe. Another item that I picked up, again, I'm thinking of a hot cocoa coffee bar. I'm going to be using these in my office um, to set up for, you know, our clients and for our staff. These are sweet Christmas marshmallows. It's three different shapes. And what it looks like is it has candy canes, Christmas trees, and snowmen. And they are vanilla flavored marshmallows. So this is what the packaging looks like. Um, this is the brand right here. And so here's the shapes that you're supposed to be able to get. And as you can kind of see them here, here's a Christmas tree. There's a snowman. I think this is adorable. You're getting 5.1 ounces. And again, they're vanilla flavored marshmallows so um yeah these are it's a good buy you know you get a lot of marshmallows and you also get them in their decorative shapes and in a unique flavor um these um again this is out of the um snack section or the holiday seasonal snack section it's called seasonal favorites sweet chaos handmade kettle corn so if you know someone that's a fan of kettle corn you definitely want to pay a visit to the dollar tree um, this one includes peppermint crunch, so it's drizzled with sweet, white, and dark icing. And look at those. In that, the packaging is beautiful. I'm going to use these for gift giving, uh, stocking stuffers. And again, I'm making a gift basket that's red and white or um, like candy cane inspired. Um, and I think this would be a perfect addition to that gift basket. I bought several of these, um, and I'm also going to include them in my son's monthly subscription box um so yeah definitely want to hit up the snack section in the dollar tree another item that i picked up were these classic frosty the snowman gummies they come in uh, blue raspberry strawberry green apple artificially flavored is 3.25 ounces but i bought it because i like the color scheme because not everybody wants to do a you know red green traditional um, Christmas colors, you know, it's okay to deviate from that. Um, I'm making a ice, like ice blue snowflake um, inspired uh, Christmas basket or a uh, gift basket. And I think this would make a great addition to that because you've got the blue there and the snowflakes. And again, great stocking stuffers. It gives you a tag where you can write who it's to and who it's from. Just thought that was cute. So I went ahead and picked it up. Another one sticking with that blue that we're talking about is a Frozen 2 Elsa figure stamper. So this one comes in, it says it's Softy Dough. It's by the brand Crazy Art. And of course you have, um, I guess her name is Elsa. I've seen the movie, but I don't really recall um, what the name of the characters are. But it's from Frozen 2 and it's a little stamper. So I think that again, stocking stuffers, addition to gifts, and it's got the blue color that I'm looking for. I thought the character was cute. And so I went ahead and picked it up. Another item that I picked up were these mini gumball machines. Again, these are in the seasonal snack section. It also comes in red and green. I picked it up in red and blue. I may be going back for the green. Um, this is for ages uh, three and up. So it says there's a choking hazard, small parts, so not for children under the age of three. Um, so you just want to take that into consideration when you're buying these. Um, but I think, again, look how cute they are. They're so cute. And I think kids and adults alike would appreciate something like this because it's whimsical, it's fun. And again, stocking stuffers, gift basket sets. I'm going to be using these for gift basket sets. And they go in the different color schemes that I'm trying to match them to. Another item that I picked up was this mug. And it's by Royal 
Norfolk is the brand. So this is a brand normally carried by Dollar Tree. They have different varieties. I believe there was a Penguin and also Santa Claus. This is the one that I like. So this is the one that I picked up. This again is going to go into a, um, a gift basket set. But check this out. If you're setting up a hot cocoa bar, you get these fake or faux silverware plastic spoons and you put them in here. You can put your little um, chocolate chips. You can put your um, some uh, broken up uh, peppermint bark, um, also your marshmallows. And look how pretty this is. Or you can even use these to decorate. Aren't they cute? They're so cute. And at a dollar, you're certainly going to pay more if you go to another store. All right, so another item that I picked up were these beautiful striped bows. They're large bows, and of course, you've got the holidays coming up. We're going to be doing some gift wrapping, so you want to jump ahead and start getting your gift wrap. I found it in this silver and white. This also could be bridal, or if you're doing like a silver and gold holiday decor theme, would these bows not complement that look perfectly but again this would also work for a wedding or an anniversary again giant bow check out this bow how big it is and it's got the silver um the metallic silver and the white and i think it's beautiful also picked it up in blue blue and white again it's just as large and you know the striping is just beautiful it adds another element also in green and white i think they had gold i don't think that i picked up the gold um, I want to say that they did, but I love this green and white as well. And I also got it in red and white. So look how gorgeous these are. This one is going to go, I believe, with my candy cane theme gift basket to wrap that sucker up. Again, here's another look at those. And here's the blue and here's the silver. Um, also picked them up in like solid colors. So this one is more of a... Um, like a cellophane look and a giant red bow, your classic red bow. And they also had it in green. So they're green. So I picked all of these up, a dollar each. I think that's a great deal. Of course, you can buy them in multi-packs, but those bows tend to be kind of, yeah, like that. I think my expression says it all. They're kind of like, eh. Um, also, another item to pick up, if you're in Dollar Tree, really good place to pick up ribbon. Um, you know, you want to be thinking year round. It may not be that time of the year. You may not know anyone who's having a baby, but you know, these things happen and you always want to be prepared and you hate to be scrambling around at the last second trying to put together gifts. If you have it in your stock or what I call your arsenal, then as soon as something comes up, you've got the ribbon, you've got things you can pull together and put a gift, you know, cause maybe that week you're strapped for cash, but guess what? You've already been stocking up. So you already have stuff to pull and you're ready to give. Um, so I, with that being said, I picked up a variety of different ribbons. This one has kind of like a checkered gingham kind of pink and white print. This is, um, it says it's uh, nine feet, uh, three yards, and it's one and a half inches in width. And it's found in the section where all the baby products are carried. Also picked up this yellow ribbon. This is six yards. And it's a yellow. Um, and this also, you know, there's several holidays. All kind of holidays can work for all kind of decor. And this one is in the floral garden section. Um, also picked up this one. This one's so adorable, y'all. It's got little um, moons and stars with little sleeping caps and little faces. And again, this is in the baby um, section where you can pick up the baby products and this is what the ribbon looks like hopefully you guys can see it I know there's a lot of glare from the camera and the lighting but I think this is so adorable also picked up this pink and white polka dot so it's got like a fuchsia pink and white and this one also in the baby section but this works for other stuff it's neutral to me so it doesn't have to be for babies um, another one this one is two shades of pink and again, it's kind of like a checkered print, a gingham print, a uh, crosshatch print. I don't know what you want to call that. But again, in the baby section, this doesn't have to be for a baby. Um, it works for other things. Um, this one is baby related. It's got bottles and little diaper pins. Um, but again, in pink, they also sell this one in blue. And this one also is going to be the nine feet. And is in the baby section. All right, guys, I'm going to put this video on pause. I'll be right back. I'm going to make space up here on my desk. And we'll be back with some more items. Okay, guys, and I'm back. 
Um, something I'm going to go over, I'm going to do a review on the Sassy and Chic faux nails. Um, if y'all have gotten an up close on one of my nails, I have a broke down nail and it is from Sassy and Chic, but I will be covering that here in a sec. So stay tuned if you're into buying faux nails at the Dollar Tree. All right. So again, with the gift giving, I picked up some more gift bags. Um, I'm really particular as to the ones that I pick up because I'm like, I don't know. I don't like stuff that looks too cheesy, too um it has like a look of being cheap or that you know that it looks like it came from a dollar store um but i did like this one you know there is some glitter on there it's not too overdone y'all it's not too overdone with the glitter if you're not a fan of glitter this one does have some it's got this little cute snowman a little bird on the tag you've got this little design and these are, i guess are supposed to be little um snowflakes on the side there is a pattern of holly or holly berry and then you got this beautiful satin or see-through uh not satin some kind of ribbon material here pretty blue matches the bag so i picked this sucker up and this is about sizing you guys want to get an idea of what that looks like also picked up this one this one has this beautiful um ornament design it's got some gold metallic as you can see look how gorgeous that is when the light hits it how beautiful especially this one a lot of lighting look at the beautiful tag again with the red ribbon um, the side of this one has this pattern, and um, this is again by Voila, so this is sizing. So good medium-sized bag, look how beautiful that is, absolutely gorgeous. And you can always add, you can always hang like a little ornament on here and just give it a whole other element if you want to kind of bring your gift giving up to another level. Um, another item that I picked up was, this one kind of matches and is from the same collection, as the um, snowman I just showed, and this one has a little deer on there. I love the uh, Fair Isle style sweater and hat. Again, that little bird is making an appearance. You got these beautiful snowflakes, this little pattern on the side, um, the, the gift tag. This is a blue transparent ribbon. Transparent? Yeah, transparent. And then you've got this print on the side with the Christmas trees. Again, by Voila. Here's your sizing. And then I'll even show you an ornament if you want to get a better idea of how big this bag is. This one I picked up because it has that buffalo checkered print. And it also has this classic Santa Claus. Um, you know, I love the very classic vintage look of the artwork here. Um, but again, this is what it looks like. Look how pretty. And here's your, um, where it says Merry Christmas, your gift tag. And it's got that buffalo checkered print. I wanted to get a better picture of this. You can see a little doll here and a teddy bear. How beautiful is this? And then he's got a little bit of um, glitter here in his hat, in the brim of his hat and on his um, coat, little ball here. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that beautiful? And um, I just thought it was so nice. You got a little snow falling in the background and here's the bottom of the bag. So again, with that Buffalo checker print and it continues on the side. Now, I, the only thing I don't like is the shininess of this bag. I wish that it was a matte finish. Um, but outside of that, you know, in a perfect world, to me, it would be matte. But it is still a beautiful bag. How pretty is that? Okay, some other items that I picked up were these assorted Christmas stickers. It's 80 count. And I liked how you have that little snow globe on the cover. Isn't that beautiful? Um, again, 80 stickers. This is what it looks like on the inside, guys. You know, your polar bears and your snowmen. And there's that red truck and this cute little fox. Um, look how cute these are. You get 80 stickers, all different kinds, several pages. It looks like some of them kind of repeat on different uh, pages. But again, it's 80 stickers. And here's some glittery uh, foil ones, some metallic stickers. Um, and a dollar, you get 80 stickers. I think this is a good deal. Um, you've got students that are still attending school. Well, if you're a student, you're in school, duh. Um, but if you're doing, you know, homeschooling or your kids are, you know, still in school, um, you definitely want to pick up some pencils. I, when I was a kid, I always wanted like, I don't know, what do they call it? Like novelty pencils, not the boring yellow standard ones. Oh, they're not boring, but you know, you want some cute little pencils and some cute little razors and then other kids may have them. So, you know. You want to be um, one of the cool, too cool for school kind of kiddos. So I picked up these because it has the Santa Claus on here. This one has a penguin 
and we have snowflakes and then you have this red glittery metallic it is a pack of 12 and it's by christmas house and this is a dollar tree brand and they've got other varieties i just happen to pick up these this i could not pass up i'm gonna add it to a gift set but if you're throwing a party you're putting together a gift basket y'all you're decorating your home how beautiful is this metallic red candy dish or a candy tray so pretty look at the sizing here here's my hand absolutely gorgeous this could even be thrown into a wreath if you're doing like a wreath on your door um there's so many uses for this um it, you know decorating parties gift giving just absolutely beautiful and there's other patterns or other types of trays i think a snowflake was one of them don't recall the other but i like the candy tray and that's what i picked up um, another item that i picked up were cookies for santa again we're tying it in with that um black and red buffalo checkered print the font is gorgeous look at the c so beautiful and the snowflake here and there's a variation of um you have the font matching here and here and then it's different in the center um the plate is not terribly big big but it's the perfect size for santa claus cookies and just gorgeous and it can also be thrown into decor so you don't even have to set out cookies you can place it in you know a plate holder how beautiful would that be or what do they call it? like a book holder where you can display it. um another item that i picked up was this red and white tray and the bottom of it is in this gold metallic so it's a metal tray and or like a tin material so pretty and there's even a like a pattern in the middle i don't know if you guys can see it but beautiful red and white and this is going to be thrown into that red and white um stripe gift basket that i'm doing um that's in that peppermint theme another item that i picked up this comes in a pack of two and it is basically christmas containers so it has like your little um what is this hot cocoa with the whipped cream and that beautiful candy cane and then you can see um gingerbread men it, this is layered because there are two of these and you get this um scalloped lid absolutely gorgeous Again, if you're setting up a party, um, you're giving out gifts, you want to give out cookies or candies, you can even stack these and tie a ribbon around them. Maybe put, um, I don't know, kettle popcorn, um, kettle pop popcorn in the bottom and then some kind of candies and something else and you can tear them. I think it would make for beautiful decor. And they're not terribly large, so they're perfect for you know those kind of snacks or for hot cocoa bars. Another item that I picked up, which I'm gonna be bringing back in because I wanna show you guys a gift idea. Um, this is a six count cookie cutters and they are in Christmas shape. So here we have a star. This looks like a snowman, um, a stocking. So you've got a variety and also a gingerbread man, of course. No Christmas set is complete without a gingerbread man. But these are so adorable. Um, if you know someone who likes to bake or if you want to start, you know, baking holiday cookies, pay a visit to the Dollar Tree. At a dollar, I mean, this is a phenomenal deal. Um, and they have a variety of different shapes as well, not just Christmas shapes. I'll show those to you guys in a sec. I'm going to clear up more space and I'll be right back. Okay, so this video is starting to run long, so I'm going to go through this as quickly as I can. I've been moving about and I've got little fluffy ornaments, so there may be some little fluff floating around here. But let's dive right back in. All right, some more ornaments, so adorable. Crafting, decorating, gift giving. These can be added onto gift boxes or gifts you've already wrapped, as well as um, you know gift bags. You can always tie these and hang these, but at a dollar, I promise you, if you go to stores like At Home, um, any of the stores that are selling Hobby Lobby, you are certainly gonna pay more than a dollar for an ornament of this caliber. Look at the fluffy, this is probably where all this fluff is coming by. He's got this little fluffy brim and the little ball here on his hat. And you've got this sequence and this beautiful gold trim. How beautiful is this? And guys, keep in mind that you can always cut this part off right here. And you can keep this little uh, for a gift tag. You can use this as a gift tag as well. Or you can use it in crafting or mod podging. Um, just an idea out there. But again, I thought this was adorable. I'm going to be putting it into a gift basket. Um, another one that I found was this, uh, you know, like an old, um, 
I don't know what you would call it, like a beautiful church, like a steeple. Look how beautiful. Look at the steeple on here. Beautiful, glittery. It also comes in a silver. I picked it up in this color, um, which I believe is, yeah, this is kind of like a gold. And um, I just think it's so gorgeous. You have this pine here and this holly, and then you've got this little whatever that is. Um, but it's so beautiful. And look, you, it's, you know, you can see through it, which is so pretty. Imagine if you, you were hanging it on your tree and you stuck through one of these lights, how beautiful this would glow. If you stuck a, um, a light off the Christmas lights through here and how it would light this candle up. So gorgeous. And again, you can add it onto gift boxes, gift bags, so many uses. All right, another item that I thought of, um, one of my uh, physicians is a lover of cats. So I'm going to be giving her a little gift. It's nothing big, but next time I go to see them, um, I'm going to put together a little gift in a gift bag and it's cat related. So I found this cute magnet. It says all you need is a cat and the cat has a little crown here. And I love, uh, you know, the artwork here, very pretty, big magnet. Look at the back of this magnet here. And they've got all different types of dog and cat lover magnets. I picked up this one for her. Also picked up this little kitten bowl um, or a food bowl for a cat. And it says, you've got to be kitten. Isn't that cute? And then you've got the little cat faces here. Hopefully you guys can read that. This is what the side of it looks like. And I'm going to go ahead and throw that into her um, gift set. Another item, th these are previously hauled, but I'm going to go ahead and throw these in as well. I saw these at At Home, formerly Garden Ridge, and they were selling them at $4.99 each. They are exactly identical, the exact same thing, which are these cat files. So these are nail files, and they've got cats on here. So you got this little smoky gray one here. Um, also found this one which is like the domestic short hair cat. Look how cute that is. And so if you have a friend that's a cat lover and you're putting together a stocking or a gift stocking stuffer, gift set for them, check out the Dollar Tree. Aren't those adorable? So I'm gonna be throwing those together and putting together a gift set for the next time that I see her. It's a lot of noise, sorry about that. Another item to consider when you are putting together gift sets, um, nails, faux nails. Who doesn't like to have their nails you know, pretty, on point, done, so to speak. Found these in LA Colors. Um, these are artificial nail tips. They're in the active oval shape. It does not include the glue, but you can buy the glue at Dollar Tree in the name brand Kiss, LA Colors, and also um, the original Super Glue. I prefer the original Super Glue, that's just me. But look at this beautiful color. And if you're putting together a gift, for someone that likes to put on faux nails, LA Colors is a great brand. I like them, I've used them many times, they hold up very well. Now, uh, in terms of Sassy and Chic, huge thumbs down. Um, I tried Sassy and Chic nails for the first time. This is what they look like. And what I found is that that white, the color, um, starts to chip away very easily. So I decided I was gonna cover them um, I tried to set, it started to chip away, um, and so I decided I was going to cover them in a clear top coat as soon as I put them on. Well, the chemical and the nail polish did not react well to the nail, so it did something like a crackling. I don't know if it can show up on camera, if I can show you how bad this looks. I don't know if that's showing up. Needless to say, it didn't work out. Not only that, I, oh, I've only had these on for a day, and they have already cracked. Um, I have not experienced these with the other brands that crack so easily. So I'm walking around with a broke down nail and this one is about to come off. So on this set, no, um, they're very thin. And again, they peel off very easily. So I was highly dissatisfied with this brand and I do not recommend it. Um, but LA Colors, yes. Kiss brand, of course, those work great. This brand, no, I will not be buying them again. All right, so let's move on to the last gift item that I'm going to show. I was going to show food, guys, but the video is running quite long. Um, another item that I picked up, right, let me throw this in right before I show this last gift set, is this red nail polish. It is in the color uh, 920, whatever that is. That's the name, and it's a sassy and chic, and it is this beautiful, vibrant red, which to me screams... The Christmas holiday. How beautiful are those? 
So uh, is this color? How great would this look on your nails? So I do recommend this brand in terms of nail polish. I have used it. You basically want to put on a base coat, two coats of this and your top coat, and you're good to go. You'll have like a glass mirror-like finish. All right. So now let's jump into the last thing so I can wrap up this haul. I'm going to hold this up and then I'm going to kind of take it apart. Now, this is not how I would put it together, guys, to seal it up with shrink wrap. But what I have here is like a set or a gift for someone that likes to bake. If you know someone that likes to bake, check this gift out. So what I'm going to do is take it apart and then I'm going to kind of set it up so you can see how it would look. So, of course, you have your towels. You want to include a towel or a kitchen towel, a mitten or a oven mitt as they call them. I have the gnome one here. This is just an example. And then we have a pot holder. So that's something you include. And of course, a novelty gift. Um, in this case, if this is going to be a gnome theme, then you can include the little ornament and set it up on top just to tie off your gift. Now you have two options here. You have these cookie cutters, um, which come with these different shapes. This is by Cooking Concepts. Or you have these, which come with the holiday shapes. If you're not doing a holiday themed um, gift, then I would opt for these right here. If you are, well then obviously you wanna put these in. All right, another item that I picked up was this Betty Crocker Sugar Cookie Mix. They have all different kind of varieties. You don't have to pick this brand. They have peanut butter, they have um, chocolate chip. Again, all different varieties and this is a name brand. I bought it not only because it matches the color scheme I'm going with, but these are common, uh, commonly used cookies that are used to cut out with shapes. So I went ahead and included these. Um, let's say you're not wanting to do red and you want to deviate from red and you want to do teal. So I have a teal oven mitt here. And what I did was I stuck in this wooden spatula, this wooden spoon, and then this whisk by Betty Crocker. These are all sold in the Dollar Tree. So this is what they look like. These are by Cooking Concepts. This is by Betty Crocker. And what you do is you'll stick them in here. Um, you may also want to include baking cups. You can also include a cupcake um, pan liner and some baking cups. Here I have them in white. They're 100 piece Cooking Concepts, but I also picked them up by Cooking Concepts in a 50 piece with this black and white pattern. Um, and again, this is a flower sack towel. So this is going to be at the bottom. They have different patterns. You can pick different styles. This is the one that I picked. And you have your cookie sheet or your cookie pan. So this is how I would set this up, guys. So what I would do is you would line the back here with your towel. And then on top of that, you would add your oven mitt. Now, let's just say I'm using this one. This is just an example. So we're going to hide the tag. We're going to put it this way. Uh, let's see if I can do this without making a complete another mess. Okay, and then you're going to stuff your oven mitt with your um, utensils. So you'll put those in there. Yes, he did. All right, so now you have it like this. Okay. All right, y'all still following me? Okay, then maybe you'll layer this on top, just like this. And then maybe you'll add these. You can hide these in the back or in the foreground or in the background, like this. You know, I'm doing this in the air. Normally you would have this, you know, down at the bottom. And then you could throw something like this here in the set. Then you can shrink wrap it and throw a bow on there. And it would be so gorgeous. And you just tie it together with your color scheme. Now, again, I'm not presenting it in the way that I would actually set it up because I'm holding it up midair. But this is just to give you guys the idea. Ra shrink wrap this, throw on a beautiful ribbon, and you got yourself an inexpensive gift for someone that loves to bake. All right, guys, this brings my Dollar Tree haul, Dollar Tree haul to a wrap. Um, if you've stuck with me to the very end, I appreciate it. Um, I did not get time to show you guys those gift baskets. I will show them in a future video. Thanks again. Hope to see you um, at the Dollar Tree. Later, guys. Bye. Believe me when we're